Congress, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the police hospital. Currently, you are witnessing a guard of honor in honor of This is the Dr. Marian Tetepubu, the National Vice President of the Police Ladies Association. And she is also the very first ever lady to head the Ghana Police Hospital as a medical director. We are being live streamed on Facebook. Please share us, like us like our pages, and you are assured of a constant update of your security tips. I am Postina, a fear in the police woman side. Please with us, let us celebrate with our mother, our sister, and colleague. Thank you.
Last Christmas, the arrival of the Medical Director and National Vice President of the Police Medics Association. So the first commander ASC Mary Mekua Pando has just been
Thank you very much, Brian. That was so lovely for such a glorious day. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I once again welcome you to the Ghana Police Hospital and a place, a stand up ceremony in honor of this COP, Dr. Mrs. Marianne Tetekobo. She is the MEDPO, that is the Medical Director for the Ghana Police Hospital, and the Polar's Executive Vice President. I'd like to invite Assistant Commissioner of Police, Very Reverend Frank Chumba, to give us an opening prayer. Please let us all bow down and pray. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you and bless your name for this day and also for the opportunity you have given us. We invite you to be in our midst even as we celebrate the working career of a distinguished medical officer and the director of the police hospital. We pray that Lord will be with us that from the beginning to the end, all that we do, Lord will honor your name and give you glory. We are grateful to you for all gathered in here and also for the police hospital, for the services that they continue to render to society and the other. We bless you and invite you to be here with us. We ask this in Christ Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Thank you very much. Assistant Commissioner of Police, very, very, very Frank Chumba. I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce briefly members on the high table. We have in our midst the Director General Welfare. The Director General of uh, and the person of Commissioner of Police, Mamiya Tiwa Adudankwa, and the national and the national president of the Police Ladies Association. Polas! 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 So we are in the medical chapter, so Polas Medical. Polas Medical, strength in you.
of without a hard work and dedication of Colas Medical Executives with special support and inspiration from Polas National. I do hope that the ceremony this morning will inspire all Polas members to aspire to greater heights. Please do relax and enjoy this beautiful ceremony. Once again, on my own behalf and on behalf of Polas Medical, welcome and thank you for coming. program we shall have a very short sermon but before the sermon I would like to introduce two of the former presidents of the police ladies association first of all we have commissioner of police Mrs. Joanna Masaipoku retired We have Commissioner of Police, Mrs. Beatrice Vip Sanziri, retired. We are also just joined by Commissioner of Police, Mr. Patrick Akogo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Akole, who is Mr. Patrick Akole, former group CEO of Will, is also here, and he has been so very, very much instrumental. He actually supported in giving the executive ward a facelift. So you're welcome. Please let's prepare our hearts and welcome very reverend, Assistant Commissioner of Police, very reverend Frank Chumba, to give us a short sermon. Thank you very much for the opportunity. The Director General Welfare and other members of POMA and senior officers gathered here, both serving and retired. I give it a great honor and privilege for me to be here and then share a few thoughts with you as we bid farewell to the ongoing medical director. The PRO said that I should give a short sermon. Short is relative. What will be short to me will be very long for. I believe many of us gathered here. And what will be long could also mean something else for all of us. But my prayer is that I will just share something briefly for us to think about. We have all been called into the service. And I see the work of policing as a calling as I see myself as a minister. It is a calling in the sense that there are a lot of sacrifices that one has to go through, a lot of challenges that you have to face before you go through all these and come to the end of the service. My prayer is that even as we reflect on God's word, this very occasion, it will be a blessing for us and also Remember, those that we serve with, those that we leave behind, and those that we are still working with, so that when our time is due like this, we will go home full of joy, full of peace, and happiness. Father, we are grateful to you and thank you. And this, through Christ Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. All I want 
want to leave with madam and the family and especially those who are still in the service is that it is god that gives growth it is god that gives growth that is the simple message it's a summary of what i'm going to share and i'll be as brief as possible the apostle paul said in first corinthians chapter 6 chapter 3 verse 6 first corinthians chapter 3 verse 6 he said i granted Apollos water, but it is God who gives the growth. I planted Apollos. Of the current uh, director of the hospital. And she is today leaving the scene. Somebody else is going to take up the challenge. Whatever had been planted, all these people will keep on watering. But the growth of it all will be in the hands of God. The growth of it all will be in the hands of God. And I want to say that retirement is an exciting time in a person's life. Retirement is an exciting time. The people have worked very hard for many years to build their careers and they can step back and they reflect and think and appreciate how far they've come. It is not only a time for reflection. Very jealous. Tell us in the sense that he had retired and he was saying that I could sleep. This thing that you are saying, don't, don't, don't worry me, you are giving me problems. Because sometimes you are not ready to wake up, you have to wake up. And it is a time of time that you can enjoy with the family, people that you care about. And things that you love to do, it is also a good time for you to um, do those things. However, it could also be a very difficult time for some people, and psychologically, when people are going on retirement, it affects their psyche. And I believe that there are so many reasons that account for that. The change of the routines that they have, sometimes when they are retired, they even forget that they are on retirement. Early in the morning, they wake up and dress. Maybe ready to look for their uniform. But unfortunately, with the police, you will not have any uniform to put on now. It has happened. And that's why it becomes very difficult. Change of routine. Again, your new location, because uh, where you used to live, now you find yourself in a different env environment. Different environment. Previously, you lived in a bungalow. You had police guards with you. You had police drivers with you. This time, you are going into your own home. When the world breaks, it is your own responsibility. These are challenges that come to people when they are about going on retirement. Sometimes, loss of friendship. The people that we interact with, you go to work, you will have the opportunity to chat with people. It also becomes a problem when you are on retirement because you don't have these people with you. But the most important thing is that the Lord goes with you. And then because the Lord goes with you also, you will have your family and your dear ones back at home. My prayer is that as you leave the scene, you go with a mindset that whatever policy, whatever uh, decision that you took was something that you planted. And my prayer is that those taking over from you will be able to water it so that the growth that the Lord brings up, so that when you are at home, you feel satisfied that what I intended to do has taken place. That is my wish and my prayer for you. And I, as I said earlier on, the Lord goes with you. That is the most important thing. That is the most important thing. But finally, I leave you with the words of the reefs. That may the good Lord bless and keep you. Whether or far. Whether you are still here or at home, may the good Lord bless and keep you. 
May you find that long-awaited golden day today, the day that you see that I've worked so hard that my time in you I'm going home. Let this day be like that. It is an awaited golden day for many of us. And may your troubles all be small ones, and your fortunes become ten times ten. Your troubles, challenges at work, challenges with the lack of logistics and other things. And now the blessing and the joy and the fortunes you go to be with your family, that, that one day more, ten times ten. That is my prayer for you. And may the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. These are the words of Jim Rips. It doesn't end there. He says that may you walk with sunlight shining and a bluebird in every tree. I believe that wherever you are going to live, there are trees around you. And my prayer is that you see the sunlight shining and bluebirds in every tree in your environment. May there be a silver lining back on every cloud that you see. And fill your dreams with sweet tomorrows. Never mind what might have been. Maybe as you leave the scene, you will think that, oh, this one should have been this. It couldn't take place and I'm leaving this. Never mind what might have been. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. Amen. Let us burn our heads and pray. Our Father in heaven, we come to you upon this occasion with thanksgiving and prayer. And we thank you for the privilege of serving your people at this place. As we look back over these years of service in this hospital, working with our director, senior officer and a colleague we want to say that our hearts continue to overflow with gratitude and we are grateful to you that we are able to work together in the interests of the kingdom of peace and also of the provision of medical facilities for the people we thank you for the harmony and we pray that you give strength even to administer leadership at this place. We bless you. Our praise continue to ascend to you as we think of confidences that we exchange together. Counsel that was given and Lord, faithful witnesses or even for the work that you have called us. Not only that, the blessings and of course, the regrets also. Now, as we are called to part we implore your continued blessing. Be with your people, especially doctors and nurses and other staff of this hospital, management of this hospital, in the years ahead of us. We pray that you grant that they may remain faithful to you and that they may continue to serve you in work and worship. That they may become true servants of saving lives even in this hospital. Be with your daughter, Dr. Tete Kobo, as she and her family leave to work for you elsewhere and enjoy her retirement. And now her with the necessary physical health and strength, Lord, above all, grant her a rich measure of your grace. Give rich fruits upon her labors. And may it be that as we hear from each other in time to come, we may rejoice in blessings multiplied. And grant that when life's course is run, we may all meet around God's throne to praise and live with you forever. In Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Please sit down.
you very much for some food. We are now going to invite the various departments to come forth for you and do their presentations. So please, if you have a presentation to make, kindly come closer. So the parts that hospital department. So we'll start with the presentation from the presentation from Universal Merchant Bank. Thank you very much. Um, uh, from UMB, uh, a local Ghanaian bank, to be very instrumental in bringing their support to work with the Polar. We work, sorry, on behalf of the board and then our management, I want to say thank you very much for trusting us, for doing business with us. Uh, even though you are leaving, we we'll continue to do business with uh, not just Polar, but the police board, because we are a local bank and we have to support and work together with our, our local institutions. Um, the police force is a very important institution in this country. So we'll continue, we we'll promise you today that we'll continue to work. Thank you very much. I feel we have just a token to say thank you for the good work we've done. And we've held all the good things being said about you. As a father of two daughters myself, I'm proud when I meet somebody I can refer to my kids that this is somebody who has made it, you can also make it. So thank you very much. Hello. Oh. Hello. The matrons, the director of nursing services. Polar's well, administration.
maternity and us and guy. Executive board. Madam, with your permission, let me say yes. From executive board, we say a very thank you to you, Madam. When you took over, whenever Madam enters the world, what she will say is, I will change the face of this world. And lo and behold, she did it. She said she continued that even if I'm not able to do anything, this one should serve as my legacy. Lo and behold, on the 11th of December 2020, a new face was unveiled. That is the executive board. Madam, on behalf of the executive board and the hospital, I say a very thank you. May God be with you wherever you will be. Amen. From the laboratory. From the pediatrics. Our station department. A special one from the physiotherapy department. Award. ENT, that is EN no central security. Well, DSP Mary Watt Elisa is presenting on behalf of the tailoring shop and no word. very much. So we have another special one from Polas Medical. That's the hospital chapter of the Police Ladies Association. And I'm afraid they are in the to read this. This citation is the one I thank and appreciate you for your exceptional work and dedication throughout the years. 
You are a paragon of excellence and commitment. Your devotion and dedication to duty are unparalleled, and the strength of your achievement is rooted in the depth of your passion. As you move to the next amazing phase of your life, know that our very best wishes for Christ are with you. May God bless you and cause his face to shine on you always. May he strengthen your brain and make you like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose water will never fail. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another special one from Commissioner of Police, Mr. Patrick Akulbu. Thank you so much. Uh, briefly, I'm so happy to be part of this. In 2005, when I came here as the paymaster, my relationship with Miriam and for that matter, all doctors in this hospital became so strong. Little did we know that her tenure was in suicide. And when I was leaving the hospital in 2014 to see Ali as the pain master, he called me and she called me and asked me, Who are you leaving? I said, I'm ten, nine years here, so I'm tired of let me go and say somewhere else. And she told me one thing, maybe you forgot it. If I ever become the medical director of this hospital, I will bring you back here to become my pain master. And I looked at my BSC and said, ah, don't you want me to grow small? I will go as assistant commissioner, and then maybe this will be your commissioner and come back here and become famous again. And she prayed, and I became the famous general. So even though I didn't get to come back here, when I was the famous general, I supported in the little way that I could, because the hospital is part of me. And because of that, I have a personal donation of a thousand CDs cash for Madam, which I will deliver to her after to buy something that is dear to her heart. For us, accountants and finance people, cash is a medium of exchange. If, if, I, if I give her maybe something now, she may have a lot of it in her wardrobe, so I prefer to give her cash. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Polas Medical. Strength in unity. Polas Medical. Strength in unity. Polas. Arise. Please, the men here can join us. Polas. Arise. Polas. Arise. Polas. Arise and shine. Thank you very much. I humbly invite the President of the Police Ladies Association and Director General Welfare, the person of Commissioner of Police, Mrs. Mami Atiwa Abidanka. Before I made a presentation on behalf of Polas National, I have a special presentation from the Inspector General of Police. I actually wanted to surprise you, but unfortunately there is a meeting that he has to attend. So he asked me to make a presentation, personal presentation on his behalf. He says you've been a very good friend, you look after his children, and you still look after everybody. Now, my children, the entire police service. 
he wishes you well and he's with you in prayer. So for this is personal presentation from the Inspector General of Police, Mr. James Opombuen. is part of me and I am part of the hospital. I started here as a constable, I came back as a senior officer and now I'm in charge of welfare which is also still part of me. Dr. Mariam has been a friend and a sister and a sister-in-law. The husband has been my friend since, 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 until I realized they were married. So she's also my sister-in-law. So from me to Dr. Marian, from myself. And also from Director General Legal and Prosecution, COP Mr. Kofi Bwachi. He says you couldn't be here and that remember you are friends and will continue to be friends. I don't know what is in it, but it is from his heart. member, always a polar member. So while I read a citation from National Polars, I humbly request the past president, Commissioner of Police, Mr. Joanna Osefuku, retired, and the immediate past president, Commissioner of Police, Mrs. Bitri Vibzanziri, to kindly join me to read the citation on behalf of National Polar. Citation in honor of your service, BCOP, Dr. Mrs. Marian Tetekobo. As you retire from active service, the Police Ladies Association National wishes to recognize and appreciate your hard work and selflessness to your country, serving as a medical doctor, a pediatrician in the police service, and also as vice president of the association. You will be remembered for many things, including your gentle, fair, but firm approach. You modeled the ladies and also mentored the men, far beyond the police hospital and clinics. Serving for almost 26 years from August 1995 to date, without blemish is no mean achievement. Congratulations. We wish you a happy retirement life with happiness and adventure. And the last letter from the medical director for, to Police Ladies Association was for Polas to renovate a ward that police ladies will heal in comfort. That letter is before the national executive and it is receiving attention. As you start your leave, finally when you leave in July, it is my hope that you will still be part of that renovated ward that police ladies will come and heal in comfort, as you always put it. Congratulations, and we are with you.
The Director General, National Protection Unit, Commissioner of Police, Mr. Patrick Akorogo, past presidents of Polas, Mrs. Danose Puku and Mrs. Bifi Zanziri, the Medical Director, are going and incoming. Representatives of the Investor Merchant Bank, one of the bankers of Police Ladies Association, senior police officers here present. The first gentleman of the police hospital, Mr. Tetekobo, and the family of our medical director, our friends from the media, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I bring you greetings from the Inspector General of Police. Like I said earlier, he wanted to surprise everybody, but he couldn't make it. And he extends his appreciation to you for the good work that you do, most especially during this COVID-19 era. He's so grateful to you, and he encourages you to continue to work harder. There are heroes who walk amongst us, never looking for glory or praise. They don't seek recognition for their selfless, thoughtful, and caring ways. One of such persons is our very own colleague, mother, sister, and a friend, Dr. Mrs. Marian Tetekobu, a very great personality by all standards. The Vice President of the Police Ladies Association and the first female to break the glass ceiling to become the medical director of this great hospital. <laughs> Dr. Tetekobu has been a very active member of the Police Ladies Association for more than two years. And she's also a founding member of the Polar Medica. She is very passionate about the affairs of women and children. No wonder she is in the future and also a special role working with you in the field in comfort. Not only for Polar, but also for Police Wives Association. She makes time for the events and activities of the association. As Vice President of our association, Doctor is actively involved in decision making activities of Polar. She has used her office to fast track the provision of all interrupted health care de delivery to senior members of the service and to everybody. And sometimes I call her when I became Director General Welfare, deep in the night, that dog, there's a policeman on his way from Borga, and you must arrange a bed for that policeman. And by the time they get here, there's a bed, and sometimes she'll be present to receive that patient from wherever. She's a doctor, but she takes every opportunity to sell the credit union of the police hospital to encourage the saving habits of police ladies, not only police ladies, but to policemen. Now they want to form Pomba, Pomba. She even shares personal testimonies of how helpful the saving habit has benefited her. Doctor, you have no idea how your advice and caution for police women to be financially independent through savings has been beneficial to members of police and by extension, all personnel and their families. We police recognize your efforts and contributions over the years. And as the president of police and your sister for several years, I congratulate you on behalf of all police women wishing you a very happy and blessed retirement. Also, as the Director General in charge of welfare of personnel of the Ghana Police Service, I can say without hesitation that your term of office as the first female medical director in a many male-dominated environment like the police has made a lot of difference. You have left footprints, and Polar's Medical has assured me that they will not let them fade. The resurfacing of the grounds and garages of the police hospital, reopening of the herbal medicine unit, and when Executive Ward was saying one of the legacies, in fact, for me, one big legacy that you have left behind is the dialysis center. 
where two weeks ago it was open, your instrumentality to get over 15 dialysis machines from the U.S. donated to the police hospital is no mean achievement and will be forever grateful to you. You have, through your efforts, reduced the medical bill on dialysis for police personnel to the barest minimum because you never stopped, you never gave up. From the time you contacted the donors, from the time the machines were shipped, the regular emails, telephone calls, when they arrived, your personal care to them is something that we will forever be grateful to you. The executive board has already been mentioned, so I will not say again, but we are so grateful to you. Myself and doctor, we are not only working partners, but we are friends. On countless occasions, I've called her for medical advice, and she has really, really helped me. Being a pediatrician, she attended to her cases with passion. And my son understood her more than I did when I brought him to the hospital. And in the evening, I was going to give him the medication. She said, no, doctor did not say this. She said this and that. So I had to call doctor for confirmation, and I was wrong. That shows how you could talk to your patient, the case, for them to understand and appreciate how they need to take their medicine. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I am personally happy because you are retiring gloriously and on such a very graceful mood. Unfortunately, we are in a service where it is not everybody who is lucky to retire graciously at a 60. We know you will be 60 in July 2021, but you have chosen to hand over and enjoy your leave pending retirement. And therefore, we, the Police and Ladies Association, with the, with the permission of the Inspector General of Police and the Police Administration, have also decided to honor you with this send off, a pullout, which symbolizes your end of service. Congratulations, Doctor, we are proud of you. <laughs> we will miss you greatly. Personally, I will miss you. Probably because your husband is my friend, I could call you at any time and I didn't have any issue at all. And that means I'm also talking to the incoming medical director. <laughs> I can call at any time and I started last night. <laughs> Either policeman is sick or something. So last night, as at 11 p.m., I was still talking to Dr. Elsie Emim because he had to arrange a bed for a police relative. Your police career and journey may not have been all smooth, but you have made it. You are standing and you are actually standing tall. Doctor, Polaris wishes you a day of happiness, wishes you days of happiness filled with abundance, God's blessing. It is our hope that you live, but you are not leaving us. And any time that we have to call on you, especially when it is for a health talk, you will always honor our invitation. On behalf of all police ladies throughout the country, on behalf of our retired members, on behalf of all the retired past presidents, we say Aiko, congratulations and enjoy your retirement. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Madam. Band, please give us some musical interlude. Whilst we prepare to receive the special presentation from the eye clinic. Let's enjoy the song.
gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Cardinal Leslie, Cardinal Leslie Tesboabasa of Christ Foundation Family Church. Giving us a and then we also have Dr. Philomena Dixie. She's a consultant of the Police Hospital Credit Union. She's giving away. Thank you, Mommy. We also have Lady Bishops Olivia Doche and Abigail Lukansi of Action Chapel Tema Community too. Thank you very much. We'll continue with the cutting of the cake, and I humbly invite our past presidents of the Police Ladies Association, our president of the Police Ladies Association, our own daddy, Mr. Samuel Tetekubo, and uh, to join our mommy to cut the cake. Yes. So her children will also join. Yes, they will join Mommy to Cut the Cake. Thank you very much. So this presentation, this cake is a special presentation from the eye clinic. And I would like to ask Dr. Pombo, would you like to say something? So um, the eye clinic, we have a message on the cake. Mommy has been a mommy to all of us, and we thank her for her selfless leadership. So this is our small token today. Thank you, Aunt Maria. We would like to invite you in the past the last Very much. So the children will also join. And then the doctors here will also have joined here afterwards. Then the Polar Medical Executives. Director Dr. Ewisi Emi, Dr. Benu, Dr. Asari, and all, all the heads of the department, all the DCOPs.
Administration, I haven't seen my director in that year. And then uh, staff officer. Yes, Mr. Renapia.
I'm sure you could see the excitement written all over Madame throughout the program. And I know she has something to tell us. So humbly I invite the COP, Dr. Maria Mutetekubo, the, the National Vice President of the Police Ladies Association, and the Medical Director of the Police Hospital to give us her address. Generals from Puma, COP, Madam Tiwa, and COP, Mr. Kogo, our retired Polar's presidents, my family, special invited guests, my hospital staff, both officers and men. In fact, I'm dumbfounded. I couldn't believe what I was seeing this morning. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> so I would say flabbergasted. <laughs> flabbergasted. <laughs> but whatever it is, I say a big thank you. First to the Almighty God, who gave me the strength to come this far. I was saying, our lives are in phases. For me, the second phase of my life has come, is coming to an end. The first phase was when I was with my parents, grew up, went to school, and became a medical doctor. Before I finished, I told myself I'll work in the force. Instinctively, one day while just passing in front of the road of police hospital, I looked up here and it just entered my heart that I will work here one day. When I became a medical officer later, I was thinking even of going to the army, but somewhere, somehow, God directed my steps to police hospital. And here am I, almost at the second phase of my life, where got married, had my children, even had one of them here in police hospital, and here am I, going into the third phase of my life. Praise be to the Lord God Almighty. I want to thank, first of all, also the IGP and POMA for giving me this rare opportunity to be the first female medical director of police hospital. I didn't take it for granted that because I was a female, I would just go easy. I added passion and my motherly heart to make sure that at least when you are sick and you are at your lowest ebb, you will come to hospital and even if you are admitted, you will come and heal in comfort. These were the things that drove me to do what I have done and to improve the environment. What I know is that what little that you have, add value to it. It doesn't matter how old it is, it will become new. Because the God that we serve, his mercies are new on our lives day by day. And he gives us grace. I want to thank all of you who have made time to come here to join me in this wonderful celebration. I don't know what to say except to say thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Police Hospital Administration, they have been behind me. Me, wherever I go, whatever I do, I don't leave the men behind, even if I'm the leader. I always tell them, I'm not here as a team god, I'm here as a team player. So each and every one of you, 
I will bring you in to help me in my administration. And I must say they have been very, 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 very helpful and a big support in doing whatever that I've done. It's not my work alone, it's their work. And I'm happy that they are still there. Right from the deputy medical director whom I worked for, worked with for about 17 years before I became director. I've always learned a lot from there. It's like my brother because we were classmates as well in medical school. He's like my brother. His mother and my grandmother are from the same place. And they were friends. So <laughs> I always see him as my brother, he sees me as his sister. Thank you very much, administration of police hospital. Thank you also. I, I don't want to leave those who supported us from below. Our nurse assistants, my nurse, Antoinette, he is like a mini doctor. She's like a mini doctor now. When you come, she will come to work very early in the morning, around 4 a.m. And when she comes, she doesn't get sit in the consulting before you realize she's down the OPD, trying to sort out and see who she could help to get life. I'm telling you, one day she saved the life of a lady who had ectopic. She saw the person and she said, this is ectopic. And she moved heaven and hell and we saved that lady's life. She has been of tremendous help. Not her alone, all the world mates. All the civilian employees, I recognize you very much. Your help that you have given to us at the police hospital. I had always wished that I could do something for you to see how much I value you. Our drivers, especially my driver, Mr. Olaga, thank you very much. He's taking me in and out, sometimes through, I mean, dangerous drives. But he has preserved my life and brought me this far. Thank you very much, our drivers. We will not leave you behind. My nurses, I always see them. I always tell my colleagues that the nurses and all the other paramedical workers, their hands, their feet, their necks, you can't work alone without them. They have been of tremendous support. And I'm not surprised. And we are sure of love this morning. I'm so overwhelmed. And I must say a big, 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 big thank you to you. Nurses, lab workers, physiotherapists, anywhere in the hospital. The police headquarters, people I know there who have helped one way or the other, we say a big, 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 big thank you to you for this wonderful support that you have given me as the medical director of police hospital in the past three years. It's strange how time flies, isn't it? Time has really fl flown. At this stage of my life, what I want to say is that God does not bring us this far to leave us. He doesn't build, teach us to swim, to let us drown. Neither does he build his house in us and walk away. And he doesn't lift us up to let us down. So lay your life before him first as an empty stage so that his play will begin in your life. Secondly, see your life as an empty page for him to color with his love. That is how you'll be able to go very far. And at this stage, I want to conclude with this song that he blessed me with. Anytime I'm moving from one stage of my life to the other, and it is Ebenezer, thus far has the Lord brought me. I'll sing it in God, that's what I know. I'll call my husband, and children to come and help me sing this song to the glory of the Lord.
Madame. We shall have a closing prayer and I humbly invite ACP very reverend Frank Chumba and this is and then after the prayers we'll get into the second part very beautiful part of it thank you Please let us all bow down heads and pray. Once again, our Lord and our God, we thank you and give you praise for this day. We thank you for this program, for coming to an end successfully. We are so grateful to you. I bless your name. We thank you for all the messages shared here. And we are grateful that even as we live here, though we depart, we do not leave your presence. The eyes of your presence will go with us. That wherever we find ourselves shall be with us. Let the rest of the day, Lord, be meaningful, given to us. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, rest and be with all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you very much, sir. We're going to have a pull out for the morning, after which we'll come back for the photographs. This is the order of the procession. We we'll have the Mount Squadron leading. Followed by our beautifully decorated vehicle. Followed by another team from the Mounted Squadron, the band, and then other officers will follow. It has been a stand of ceremony for DCOP, Dr. Mariam Kutubu, the National Vice President of the Police Ladies Association and the Medical Director of the Ghana Police Hospital. This program has been spearheaded by the Police Ladies Association with special thanks to our President, Commissioner of Police, Mami Tiwa Adidongba, who is also the Director General of Welfare. Special thanks also goes to our past Police Presidents, when we came to grace our uh, dissipation to the families of this COP, Dr. Mario, a special answer is the last We are still live on Facebook. The Ghana Police Service. Do share and like our pages.